Part 2 of White's Road covers the lower half of the pass from the 3rd to the 6th kilometer. This road also provides access to the Wilderness National Park's Ebb and Flow campsite by turning left at the end of the pass. Along this section there are many hidden driveways. In 1877, the farm of the wilderness was laid out, which was the beginning of the village as we know it today. After the end of the South African War in 1902, White's Road was built at a reasonable gradient up the hills above the lagoon, and together with the arrival of the motor car, wilderness's reputation was secured. The deep gorges of the Caymans and Tow Rivers were always a difficult obstacle for ox wagons and it was only the building of a proper road to Nisner in the late 1860s that opened the lakes area up to settlement, now known as the Seven Passes Road. About four and a half kilometers from the start, there's a very sharp left-hand corner preceded by a paved ditch which will require you to slow down to 20 kilometers per hour. Immediately after this corner, there's a steel gantry with a height limiting factor of 2.4 meters. From this point, the road also carries a mass restriction of 3 tons. In addition, the speed limit is reduced to 30 km per hour. Despite the dense vegetation, there are brief glimpses to be enjoyed to the left of the Tow River Estuary and Wilderness Beach. By the end of the 1920s, the old farm buildings were transformed into a proper hotel, roads were laid out, plots were sold and houses were built. In 1928, the railway from George to Neisner was opened, with Wilderness as the only station on the line between George and Neisner. Finally, in 1952, a coastal road crossing the Tow River was built, linking George and Neisner for motor vehicles, which later became the N2. From this point, the road width reduces considerably. At the 5.3 km point, the gravel gives way to tar. And the speed limit is revised to 40. In 1902, at the end of the South African War, the Wilderness Farm was bought by a syndicate headed by Montague White. Opting to remain living on his other property, Fan Court, White ran the Wilderness as a guest house, developing the area, including the building of White's Road up on the hills above the lagoon, and essentially putting Wilderness on the map. Montague White died in 1916 and the property was taken over by Wilderness Limited, headed by Owen Grant, who proceeded to develop the guest house into a seaside resort of international acclaim. The pass ends at the 5.9 km point at an altitude of 18 meters. Turn left to go to Wilderness Village or turn right to ascend the mountain to the map of Africa via Heights Road.